First, I'd like to turn to you about the uh, process of uh, casting uh, the film. Uh, I'm wondering how the choice of um, Miriam Young came about. Okay. Oh, it was, um, well, how many years ago? Oh, five years. Five years ago, right. <laughs> um, actually, the original story came out at the end of 2010. Yeah, and after we have the first script, at that time, we, I and the two other producers, um, you know, we had in mind Miriam Young to be the main actress. That was the, I think, some very essential <laughs> and basic uh, uh, element that we regarded as some very basic element that we can um, make the movie success. So yeah, then we tried to contact Miriam Young and have a, we are having, we are talking about the script over beer, right? Something mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And what was your first reaction when you read the script? How did you, did you identify with the I character? It's a, yeah, it's a very touching story. It's talking about a relationship um, for couples. And uh, the most touching part is they, they met when they were young. And then secondary school. And then they, walk along the road till 40 something. So I think it's a new challenge for me, yeah. Uh, in what sense was it a new challenge for you compared um, to? I didn't come across this kind of story before. Most of my movies is about comedies or love, but mm -hmm. fantasy and passions. Um, I think this time is quite sad <laughs> for me. <laughs> yeah, it's quite serious. Yeah, not a kind of comedy. Were you already familiar with uh, The Way We Dance or Adam's earlier films? What? Uh, the Way We Dance, the previous the movie that ah, was quite them. a hit. Yeah. Very energetic and um, have motivations inside. Very positive, yeah. But the first time I met uh, Chinua for this movie, the, the, way we, the Way We Dance still haven't come out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that was yeah. before The Way We Dance. Right. Uh, Miriam, I would like to ask you, since uh, mm -hmm. tonight's your night, really, uh, I would like to ask you about your early career when you started. When you started off, um, I'm curious about the early comedies uh, you made with Joma. Yeah. Uh, how uh, how would you describe that era? That was quite different back then. How were oh. those films made? Those those films were also made very quickly, but that's how you became a film Love star. Love undercover. You are Love very undercover. far away from me now, <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, really a. Uh, beginning of my um, uh, movie career. Yes, uh, I think it's, many, many people think that I'm just doing myself. Mm -hmm. But um, how to say that? I think I'm lucky. Yeah, have a very good start at, at that moment. Yes. But, uh, but then you, you chose a very different uh, kind of uh, direction. You played in uh, Food Chan's uh, because I am learning from each movie, mm -hmm. and and hope that as I would I would tell myself I still have a room for improvement. So I learn from every single one. Yeah, even that's very bad. <laughs> I still okay. learn about it. Yeah, I still learn from that. Uh, how did you first became uh, become familiar with Mia Yim Young's films? Actually, it's from that uh, Fritz Chan movie, uh, oh, really? Dumb, oh. Dumb Ring. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that was the really, really first time I met you. Yeah, and yeah. I have a, and she gave me a really strong impression at that time because, because I'm at crazy. that time I was I was uh, making of director, so you know making of right. So I I was uh, videotaping some interview with. Uh, Miriam Young, mm -hmm. and I found she's really nice, you know, friendly, and really very willing to answer questions. <laughs> Actually, not not every star in Hong Kong can do that, right? Yeah. I think, yeah, I remember, like, I still remember. I asked you, oh, you have to learn how to act as a, like a rich woman, mm -hmm. you know, and so did you learn something? So you just perform in front of the camera how to walk or some gesture uh, of those yeah, rich yeah, yeah. women. Yeah, that gave me a, you know, life left me a very strong impression. <laughs> well, she eats dumplings made from. Uh, <laughs> that's well, the a strong dumpling impression. is very crazy, you know. It's a, that's, of course, that's not a real one, but I need to eat over hundreds 
for each scene because they have different angle for shooting. So I need to repeat to it and eat and eating and eating and eating. Yeah, I remember it very clearly. So I think You've seen something that film very clearly. horrible thing to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just it's eating like a dumpling, you know. It's very dumb <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> You still eat dumplings? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to ask you about your encounter with Pang Ho Chung. I think that's a very important moment in your career. Yep. You, you work with uh, Pang Ho Chung, who's uh, also a uh, Niav guest, has come here a few times. Can you describe how it was working with him and how that uh, changed your career? Yeah. Uh, love in the puff in another part of my life and my career life is a real difference with uh, love, undercover, love Undercover that at that period. Because uh, Cherry is a more modern woman and more mature, and um, the story is more real, and more near, near how to say, the more solid love story, and uh, yeah, and connecting with the audience directly. Yes, I think it's a different kind of um, uh, movie. I didn't work with before, yeah. H how different was it? I think uh, Pong Ho Chung spends a lot of time on the script. I don't know how the drama comedies were made, but how, how different was that from your early work? Um, in terms of, uh, it's more realistic. more realistic. I need to learn the smoking, and I didn't smoke, but I need to learn it. And um, it's talking about a lady fall in love with a man who is younger than her, at least five years. And I think it's very, very um, challenging for me. But actually, my husband is younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe not that challenging. I think that's convincing, yeah. <laughs> so, you, yeah. <laughs> so you could derive it from your own experience. Huh? Was it similar to? <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit. So I just, yeah, um, of course, not all of that. <laughs> Yeah, part of it. Okay. Can we speak about the third film? The third film? Oh, the coming, the, the, the coming the, the one. The upcoming one. Well, maybe it will be a horror film, so <laughs> I, don't <think> <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what will be, what's, what, what will going on with that. But uh, still it's talking about the Cherry and Chi Ming. Yeah, they live together, they're living together, and maybe have many, many different, uh, you know, uh, situational, Sorry, yes. I see. Uh, the, uh, uh, another two films maybe that uh, we could talk about in your career that I th thought uh, you worked with Johnny Toe as well for Do Don't Go Breaking My Heart. Oh, Don't Go uh, yeah. Johnny Toe, right? Yeah. Yep. And also uh, Little Big Master was an important uh, mm. movie for you. Can you describe the process of oh, being Little involved Big with Master that? Little Big Master is very meaningful to me. I think it's... Um, Everyone inside just want to do, uh, how to say that, uh, scenes here, uh, how to say that in English? Premonition. Have, yeah, I have... Um, Premonition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I better stay in Cantonese, more direct. Um, the small child's child is my own thing. It's a very big change in my life in the work of work. 因為每一個女演員咧，可能到某個階段都會好多猶豫，唔知道自己點樣去做一個咩角色，再去令到自己有突破。咁當然遇到呢個劇本嘅時候咧，都係一個緣分嚟嘅，亦都唔係特登要揾一套戲希望自己突破。但係喺呢個過程裏邊，我發現咗原來我可以用我自己嘅人生經驗去駕馭一個我從來冇演過嘅角色，而嗰樣嘢又亦都得到個說服力。誒、uh, 作為一個校長咧，呢、这個咁 professional 嘅職業咧，其實係我冇試過，但係就係一種使命感，好希望拍到呢套戲，而令到呢一套戲，令到坊間，尤其是喺香港嘅教育制度裏邊，係得到一個反思嘅時間。無論係做老師又好，做家長又好，作為一個希望快啲生 B B 嘅準父母都好。佢要明白佢生一個小朋友出嚟嗰種愛嗰種栽培，唔係當佢寵物咁樣嘅，唔係淨係俾最好嘅嘢佢，而係你點樣愛護好佢，同埋同你點樣溝通。咁大家都係希望做到一件事，咁樣所以去拍。<笑>
Your turn. He's working on it. <laughs> a very long stream. <laughs> so, Little Big Master to me is um, you know one of the breakthroughs in my entertainment career. You know, uh, it's one of the milestones in my entertainment career. Um, when I initially took on took on the role, I had many doubts on how to you know break through my you know it, how to you know portray uh, someone who had who I've never been you know a, a teacher, but. Um, this is how I wanted to, you know, <clears throat> break through. So when I find this, you know, um, role, I can use my own real life experience to enhance the character, um, you know, as a principal, you know, as a new parent or as a you know new person. But um, this is also my mission to hope to um, give a voice or share my opinions on the Hong Kong education system. I hope this will help the Hong Kong education and also. Um, as a parent or a teacher or a family, and I want them to not to treat their kids as, you know, um, not to treat them too hard, not to give pressure onto them, um, and hopefully that um, the idea of having kids or having education is not to just give them the best, but to um, but the need to nurture them and give them a proper education and a proper, um, you know, parental environment so that they can have a better life growing up.